Apple just dropped a research report that destroys everything you thought you knew about AI reasoning. Their scientists prove that AI models don't actually think. They're just sophisticated copy paste machines. Now, everybody's been blasting Apple because they're behind on the AI race, but I think they're the one who are actually taking some of the most sensible approach. And this is pretty funny because like, I'm an Android guy. I am not an Apple fan, right? So if you know I'm here defending Apple on something, then they must have done something right here. So when you add a single irrelevant sentence to a math problem, AI performance drops by 65%. When you change just the numbers in the same question, the model fails completely. What does it mean when the company that created Siri tells us that all these reasoning models are basically high-tech parrots? Now, why are tech companies spending billions on systems that can't actually reason their way out of a paper bag? Today, I'm gonna to break down what Apple's devastating research and exposes um, the illusion of AI thinking and why this changes everything about the AI race. So let's dive in. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've managed, uh, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right. Apple's research team published the reports that, take, that has the most brutal takedown of AI reasoning that I've seen so far. While everyone's been celebrating how smart these models are getting, Apple went and proved that they're not thinking at all. They're just really good at copying patterns that they've seen before. The implications are staggering and most people in the tech are completely missing what this means for the future. So let's go take a look at some of these reports because I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, you're just making this stuff up, but I really promise I'm not. This is a report that was published June 2025, The Illusion of Thinking, Understanding the Strengths and Limitations of Reasoning Models via the Lens of Probable Complexity. Now, this is a lot of really tons of big words. Um, and as we were going through this, it talks about the large reasoning models, right? Which are what we think about the large language models, the generative models that generate detailed thinking process before providing answers. So while these models demonstrate improved performance on reasoning benchmarks, their fundamental capabilities, scaling properties, and limitations remain insufficiently understood. So they go through and break this all down and talk about low complexity tasks and medium complexity tasks, and then start to break this down. This is the actual report. It was done by a, a series of, uh, of research students here for Apple, and they go through a ton of math and a ton of, of this stuff. So um, I ran through some of this analysis with surprise with some AI right here, but I ran through some of this analysis because this is a huge report and I jumped into some parts that I thought that you guys would find interesting. The other part of this that my research is going to dive into here is the GSM symbolic, understanding the limitations of mathematical reasoning in large language models, right? And, you know, it says recent advancements in large language models have sparked interest in their formal reasoning capabilities, particularly in mathematics, right? Now, I just did a video on this yesterday where I was talking about the way that people are gaming the benchmarks. Surprise, I know this might be a shocker. So if you haven't seen yesterday's, go and check out yesterday's. And again, as always, the best compliment you can give me is to leave a comment down below. Love to have your comments. Even if you disagree with me, that's fine. But this GSM uh, symbolic uh, study here is what's really interesting because this is where they dive in and talk about that it's why, how the GSM 8K benchmark is widely used to assess the mathematical reason of models on grade school level questions. And this is talking about how dismally it does here. So um, wanna, I'm going to dive into these reports here for you today. So. Apple's GSM symbolic, uh, symbolic research reveals that AI models show noticeable variance, surprise, when responding to different versions of the exact same mathematical questions. That's because LLMs are not deterministic. They are non-deterministic, meaning you can give them the same inputs and they give you different outputs. So simply changing the numeric values in a grade school math problem, so we're talking about basic K through six arithmetic, causes significant performance declines across all state-of-the-art models. And again, guys, everyone's gonna be like, oh, those studies are old. Um, this study is not that old, right? This one was end of last year, but the other part that we're gonna talk about here is the, the thinking one, right? But this proves that models aren't understanding the underlying mathematical concept, but they're instead pattern matching against training data that they've memorized. The reason, now the thing is it can do that so fast that it seems like it's thinking. The research demonstrates that what we've been calling mathematical reason, reasoning is actually sophisticated template pad, uh, template matching rather than genuine logical thinking. Apple's controlled experiment eliminate the possibility that models are developing true mathematical understanding. They're just recognizing and copying solution patterns. Now, 
There's also the fragility of AI logic. Apple discovered that adding a single irrelevant clause to a math problem ca causes performance drops of up to 65%. So this means like if you were to say five times four and then you just wrap it in parentheses, it would cause a 65% drop in the mathematics. These irrelevant clauses don't change the problem's logic or contribute to the reasoning chain needed for the correct answer. The dramatic performance collapse reveals that models lack robust logical reasoning capabilities and are easily confused by extraneous information. This makes it very fragile, indicating that AI systems can't distinguish between relevant and irrelevant information when solving problems. The research shows that models are following memorized solution templates rather than understanding the problem. Now, Apple's research on the large reasoning models shows that they face complete inaccuracy collapse beyond certain complexity thresholds in puzzle solving tasks. So even the most advanced reasoning models like Claude, O3 and O4 Mini, DeepSeek R1, they're failing entirely when problems exceed model specific complexity limits. The research identifies three distinct performance regimes where standard models actually outperform reasoning models on simple tasks. So most concern, uh, the most concern is the counterintuitive finding that models reduce their reasoning efforts as problems become more complex despite having adequate computation. Now again, everybody's blasting AI because they haven't upgraded Siri to be uh, on the AI bandwagon yet, right? Siri still doing some pretty lame web searches for you, right? But that's the problem is AI is, uh, is instead proving that they're seeing a complete collapse at complexity thresholds. So if you tell Siri to solve a problem for you and it comes back with something made up, Apple knows that that's gonna be a, a bad thing. Now, I, I've always, you know, like I said, I'm not an Apple fanboy here, so take this for what it is. But at the end of the day, Apple has a very high quality threshold. So they don't like producing things that fail. I know, the recent AI miserableness that they failed, they've mostly rolled back. Apple intelligence, right? Apple's most shocking finding in these reports were that even when researchers provided the complete solution algorithm for the puzzle problems, AI models still followed, failed at the exact same complexity point. This proves that lim the, the limitation isn't problem solving strategically, uh, strategically discovered, but in the fundamental ability to execute logical steps consistently. Now, this finding destroys the argument that AI just needs better prompting or instructions, right? The core reasoning capabilities are fundamentally broken because they're not reasoning. They're actually just pattern matching. The inability to execute provided algorithms reveals that models lack the systematic logical processing required for general reason, reasoning tasks. Let me explain this for you. When you're going to take your test and your instructor tells you, hey, you can write down as many of the formulas as you want, you can feed those formulas to the models, but it's not gonna learn them. It's not gonna learn those models and then know how to do it when you plug in different numbers. It's gonna just take those models and plug in infinite amounts of numbers and then try to pattern match against them to get the correct answer. So this is where this research shows that AI failures aren't about training data gaps, but about fundamental limitations and how these systems work. Now, if your company is hitting some walls in some of your fundamental systems and they're not connected, reach out to us because our specialty here is building software for companies to connect systems that are not connected to help your company work like a well-oiled well -oiled machine. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help you out. Now, Apple's in, uh, interpretability research reveals that AI models quote, make up fake reasoning when explaining their thought processes to the user. The research found that models, quote, give plausible sounding arguments designed to agree with the user rather than follow logical steps. Surprise, these are pattern matching tools designed to give you what it thinks you want to hear. That's the base that it's trying to go off of. So this means that detailed reasoning explanations that models provide are fabricated, post hoc justifications rather than actually thinking process. So this fake reasoning phenomenon explains why AI can seem intelligent in demonstrations but fail when faced with novel problems requiring genuine logical thinking. So recently I was trying to work uh, out for a young men's camp. There was going to be 13 stations. I only had 10 groups. I tried to get the model to work with me to figure out what the rotations would be and where rotations could be duplicated and some of those things. It failed every time. I spent hours trying to get it to do it and I eventually just figured it out myself. 
Apple's research hypothesis states that current LLMs cannot perform genuine logical thinking. They replicate reasoning steps from their training data. So the performance drops when problems deviate even slightly from training patterns and prove that models lack the generaliz generalization ability required for true reasoning. So this is where we see like coding start to fall down, right? Because if it's seeing code like it before, it can regurgitate that. If it's actually trying to reason to come up with code, it that's where it's going to fall down. So understanding AI as pattern matching rather than reasoning completely reframes expectations about what these systems can and cannot do. This is why I've said to developers all the time, you want to use it for boilerplate code, use it for function by function, because it can take that logic and break that down. But you don't want to say, do this thing and write this whole system for me, right? Apple discovered that reasoning models often find correct solutions early in their thinking process, but then continue exploring incorrect alternatives. This overthinking behavior wastes computational resources and sometimes leads models away from the correct answers that they actually already identified off their training models. This pattern demonstrates that longer reasoning processes don't always necessarily lead to better outcome models, better outcomes, that models can actually get worse the more they think. So I know I hear from people all the time, oh man, I did this and it was off and it was coding for like four hours. And that doesn't necessarily, the, the study here doesn't necessarily support that now, or that, that that's better. Apple's research may be doing it, but just to spend your money. Uh, Apple's research exposes how traditional math benchmarks like GSM 8K have been given false impressions of AI reasoning capabilities. The GSM symbolic benchmarks reveals massive performance gaps when the same logical problems are presented with different surface features. The research proves that impressive benchmark scores don't translate to robust reasoning. Now, Apple's evidence shows that AI models are fundamentally limited to replicating reasoning patterns that they've encountered in training data. This finding explains why AI works well for common problems but fails spectacularly when faced with unique reasoning requirements. So this is why software developers are really starting to see through the hype, right? Apple's research validates what experienced developers have known. These AI systems break down when they face with complex novel problems we solve every single day. So in my 25 years of building software systems, I've learned that true reasoning requires handling edge cases and novel combinations that pattern matching can't address. Developers who understand these system architectures recognize that AI lacks the deep logical understanding required for robust software engineering. Now again, don't get me wrong. I'm an AI realist. I'm not pro AI. I'm not con AI. Use AI. It does make you faster as a software developer. Learn how to use it, but know its limitations and don't expect it to do all of your work for you and don't let it become a crutch. Apple's finding confirmed that AI tools are useful for automating routine tasks, but can't replace the genuine problem solving skills that us human brains can have, right? So that's why I'd say in the end, our research suggests that current transformer-based approaches to AI reasoning have hit fundamental architectural limits, and we're seeing the point of diminishing return. That ev the evidence points again towards needing entirely new approaches to AI reasoning rather than scaling up bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what we in software development call brute force, and people are trying to brute force this, right? Grok is pretty fa pretty amazing, and it's because they're literally just brute forcing to death the size of the AI. So understanding the AI limitations will help you to set realistic expectations for what these systems can accomplish. The research indicates that AI will remain a powerful tool for pattern recognition and automation, but won't achieve human level, level reasoning with current approaches. So Apple's findings suggest that the next major AI advancements will come from architectural innovations rather than larger model training or more data because we all know we're hitting the data limits as I've talked about this week. So if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out because here at Startup Pack, we'd love to help you get those systems connected. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Now's the time when everyone's gonna come out and flame me and tell me how wrong I am. Totally okay with that. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Here we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions. Check out the uh, services that we uh, provide down below. Hi, my name is Spencer Thomason, and I'm a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. 
So what is a fractional CTO? This is where you can contract someone like myself to come into your organization and get the benefits of a seasoned CTO without having to employ me full time. In today's fast paced world, efficiency, security, and product scaling aren't just goals, they're necessities. My passion is building impactful products and enhancing organizational efficiencies through technology. From startups to small businesses, my approach leverages lean methodologies to not just meet but exceed your strategic goals, whether it's through executive mentoring, cloud system architecture, or launching a minimum viable product swiftly, my aim is to make a significant impact right from the start. Recognized in the Arizona startup ecosystem, my journey has been about creating value and fostering innovation. I have led technology for companies like GoDaddy, SRP, and Wells Fargo, and turned challenges into milestones. I've taken this learning and launched seven of my own brands, and now I want to help you. So if you're looking for a fractional CTO who brings a wealth of experience, strategic vision, and a proven track record, let's connect. Together we can build technology that not only drives your business forward, but also makes a difference. Technology leadership redefined to fit your needs. So reach out today.